Oftentimes, the most important thing to get right about your render output is your output file itself. The settings for this can be found in the Output category in your Output Properties tab. This is the tab labeled with a printer icon. Here you can immediately see a line where you specify your file output path. Simply click on the folder icon to open the file browser for easy navigation, or left click the path and type it manually. You will want to make sure to include a file name at the end of this path, but don't include the extension, as that will be provided for you as a checkbox below. Very quickly, I'll go over these checkboxes. Overwrite is a checkbox to specify that if a file name is identical, simply overwrite it without confirmation. This is on by default for a reason, because if you check this off and you start a render after already rendering your scene once, the files generated by the previous render will not be updated, therefore your new render will not be recorded. There are times where you would want this, but most of the time I recommend leaving this checked on. Placeholders is a great way to create the file name before the render finishes. By default, the file itself does not get generated until the render is done with that frame. Cache results will save your render cache, aka your slots, as an open EXR file, which can sometimes speed up compositing calculations in post-processing. This is relatively situational and default settings for all four of these checkboxes are typically fine. Next you have your file format. This should be familiar territory if you've ever worked with images or videos before. PNG is a great image file format to use, and your render will output each frame as a separate PNG file on your hard drive. Feel free to use any of the other file format options Blender has available. If you choose a movie file, you'll have an additional section called Encoding that has settings you should tweak. For starters, your actual file extension will be specified by the container value. Also, to make sure you include any existing audio in your render, make sure to select an audio codec from the drop-down menu. Quick and very important tip, even if you're rendering an animation, it is recommended to output image sequences instead of movie files. This is because in case your render fails midway, the files up to that point for your image sequence have already been output, so you can still pick up where your image sequence left off. However, if you are rendering a movie file format, a render that fails halfway will never even become a single file, as it will output a corrupted incomplete file, leaving you to start over completely from frame 1. Color type lets you choose between black and white, RGB, or RGB plus alpha. RGBA allows your images to include transparency and is usually recommended, especially if you're rendering out passes. Color depth changes the amount of color information in your image. Compression simply affects the file size of your output. Now that we've gotten those settings out of the way, let's quickly show how this works. I'm going to go ahead and animate my cube really quick. I can then render it out by going to the render menu. Here we have two options, render image or render animation. If you were to select render animation, you would see the output files being automatically generated for you like so. For hotkey users, you can simply press Ctrl F12. Once your rendered animation is done, you can also view your rendered animation by going to the render menu and selecting view animation. For hotkey users, you can simply press Ctrl F11. Now, if you were to select render image instead of render animation, Blender will not output a file for you automatically, as this would actually overwrite a lot of important frames when running single frame test renders. But let me show you how to save a single frame if you need it. Let's go back to the render menu and select render image. For hotkey users, you can simply press F12. From the new render window, which is simply an image editor popped out, you can go to the image menu at the top and select save as. This will allow you to save the image as a new file using the output settings you specified in the properties editor. If you don't see this new render window, simply go to the render menu and select view render. For hotkey users, you can press F11. 